it is hot today and uh, one thing that you guys probably don't know about it Germany is that there is no air conditioning in virtually any building I know whether it's old or new air conditioning just isn't a lot of Germans say that Germany just doesn't get that hot but let me tell you it gets absolutely scorching sometimes and without any air conditioning to kind of offset the heat you feel it I mean I'm in my room here and I'm sweating because it is on the top floor but it does have the best lighting for the video that I wanted to make today and speaking of which last Sunday I had the opportunity of going to a place called Eiffel Park and it's like this outdoor recreational I'm only I made a video at the beginning of this year and in that video I talked about my five goals for 2017 so instead of like making these new year resolutions I set five goals aside for myself and I was going to try and meet those goals to the best of my ability in the upcoming year and one of those goals was to travel more do more or explore more around Germany now I come from a the Pacific Northwest back home in America and Washington and Idaho are my home and in fact many of us from Idaho call it Idaho and it's I mean because it is one of the things here that 2016 really kind of made me realize was that I wasn't taking advantage of my situation I'm a Mexican American living in Germany and I wasn't really taking advantage of the fact that I was in Germany the first year when I got here in 2012 I was doing a lot of that I was doing a lot of traveling and I was going to different countries and I was enjoying everything that Europe had to offer but I never really explored Germany as much as I should have and Germany is a beautiful country and it's probably a country that doesn't get enough credit for its beauty for its countryside beauty and all the things that there are to do and this park was one of them I had a lot of fun with the family we had a blast we rode in the little train that's it's basically like a makeshift train that gets pulled by a tractor it takes you through this through the entire way of the park and you get to see all the animals there's bears there's um there was a bunch of uh, deer and wild pigs and And I try to get as much cool footage as I could but it was really tough because I really wanted to enjoy the moment with my family and I also wanted to get good footage but then somewhere along the way like halfway through the day my allergies kicked in and I about died I my day was ruined I was in a bad mood and I was crying and sniffling and sneezing and it was hot and there was no air conditioning for me to escape to and it just oh, it, it got pretty bad if you haven't seen it my two that my goals for 2017 I'll link it down below but in that video I talked about the five different goals and number four was to travel and do more with my life this year and I think we're off to a really good start. We've done a lot of things together as a family and although I haven't recorded all of it, it's it's been a blast. And this is the one that I kind of wanted to share with everyone. Chucky, are we going? Where, there? Yeah, I think so. Quickly approaching June, um, halfway through the year, but summertime is the time to travel and explore. And I've got tons of other trips coming up, and we're planning a lot of things. We actually got this little booklet. Hold on, one second. Yeah. So, big shout out to my brother-in-law for hooking us up with this booklet. What this booklet is is a two-for-one 
coupon book and that's what it says up here it's a two for one gooch china which is two for one coupons and it has stuff it has restaurants it's got resorts it's got spas it's got dunkin donuts i mean that is awesome so if we go to dunkin donuts um you get like a two for one special that's got subway i mean it's got everything yeah, it's got rock climbing, it's got... We haven't used it yet, but I got some family coming out to visit soon and we really want to take advantage of this thing because, I mean, why not? So like the biggest the, the biggest excuse I think that people have usually for not doing stuff is there's no time and sometimes there's no money. Um, but if there's like a two for one booklet in your area or your local community or something that you can pick up, I mean, this ran, I think about like 20 euro or something, but then all the specials that you get, you make it back so quickly especially if you go out and do most of these so that's pretty cool and i i don't think there's an expiration date i i could be wrong but um aside from my allergies beating me down to the ground sunday was a pretty fun day and i'm glad that me and my family were able to get out and explore and have a lot of fun together I'm only um, my wife and I both want to get out more and be more active. We want, especially in this summer, we don't want this summer to go to waste. I mean, German summers are so short anyway. Uh, the joke is that the sun comes out, stays out for two weeks, and then goes back to sleep. Question of the day for everyone that's watching today. How are your goals coming along? You can still do whatever it is that you set out to do. It's not too late to go and become super active and become this awesome fitness guru. And it's not too late to become a food critic. It's not too late to start making music. It's not too late to start any of it. You don't have to wait until Monday. You don't have to wait until the first and you don't have to wait until 2018. The time is now. If you set a goal for yourself for 2017, we're six months into the year, we're halfway through it, and it's crazy to think about. December is in six months. Christmas is in six months. So get out there, knock out those goals, keep crushing life, and don't forget to subscribe. It's hot. It's way hot.